Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and today's video. I kind of have a bit of a bonus unboxing for you today um, because I have a latest in beauty box. This is from the September edit and you're going to go, but you've already done a latest in beauty unboxing for September. Yeah, I know. I know. There were so many products in September that I was really interested in, in trying out. I actually ended up doing two boxes. So, this is a Latest in Beauty's Backstage Beauty Edit for the month of September, part two, <laughs> basically. Okay, so what is Latest in Beauty? Latest in Beauty is a monthly subscription service. You get six items and the boxes cost £12.95, uh, plus for the first three months, you have to pay £3.95 for each packaging. After those first three months though, the box price goes down to just literally £12.95 a box. And the great thing about Latest in Beauty is you actually get to choose which products you would like to receive. Every month at the beginning of the month, they release an edit and that tells you all the products that will be released gradually, daily, throughout the month, which is lovely. Great, you know what's coming. However, if there's a product that you're looking at and you really, really fancy, you've got to wait until the day that it's released and you don't know when that's going to be released. So it could be on the 4th of the month, 14th or the 31st of the month. You know, you've just got to wait until it comes out. But, you know, that's kind of the chance you take because sometimes if you do that, if you're waiting for a product, um, there might be other products that are released before it that, again, you're really interested in. By the time you one that you're really wanting is released, some of those other products might have sold out or gone out of stock. But that's the chance you take. So, like I say, here we go. I have actually paid £13 for this box um, because, like I say, it is my second box. So my first box I paid £10 for. This box I pay £13 for. And that's because I signed up to do this second box um, just before the cutoff date for when they changed everything. So I get this with the free delivery. So this is £13 for these six items. So it's literally £2.20 an item. You know, it's not bad when you break it down that way. So let's just quickly dive in and see what I chose in box number two. First item is a Lee Stafford item. This is a hair care brand and it's the Coco Loco Heat Protection Mist. This is a 150ml bottle and basically, um, normally what I do is before I put my mousse on and before I blow dry my hair, because obviously I do blow dry and style every day, I like to put something in there just as a bit of extra uh, hydration for my hair, but also to protect against the uh, hair dryer and everything. Um, I like to use the NUX um, hair and body oil. I'm currently using um, one by the brand Amica. It's a sea buckthorn spray. That smells gorgeous, really smells sea salty. Um, but that's only a little travel size, little sample bottle. So I thought I would get this so I've got another one ready and waiting for when that one runs out. So that's item number one. Item number two is by Brushworks, the Brushworks company, and this is Brushworks Eco, and it's a cognac sponge. Now then, I have been using these after being first introduced to cognac sponges. Again, I think it was Glossy Box, the first one that I received. I absolutely love them. They are fantastic. Um, really, really good to use. I like to use it as a second stage cleansing on a night time. So I use like a cleansing balm um, to get the majority, melt that makeup away and get the majority of that off. Then I will go in with a cream cleanser. I'll wet this down. I'll uh, pop a small amount of the cream cleanser on this and then I go over and I really give it a really good thorough um, cleaning with the cleanser and the cognac sponge. The cognac sponge itself just helps to, like I say, lift. It's very, very gentle exfoliant. And I mean very gentle exfoliant. So it just helps to lift any tough bits of grime and muck and makeup. Just lift them off and get rid of them 
for you. Um, I believe this has probably got, I think these normally have a retail value of around about £5. So again, to pay a couple of pounds for one in this box, I was very happy to do. And uh, the one I'm using is about to, I think, give up the ghost. So I needed it. I needed a new one. So that's item number two. Item number three, when I can get through all my twiddly bits, just a minute, is... A makeup brush oh I know what a shock I picked a makeup brush this is by the brand elf here we go and it's a small blending shader brush there we go I'm gonna get it out of the packaging it's cruelty free and vegan I've never tried anything from elf um, so I thought well now's the time I suppose and it's actually it's a really nice brush it's actually not as fluffy and um, and fl sort of fly away as I first thought. It's quite a nice dense brush. It's sort of got a slightly flat domed top and the length of the bristles is very good as well. Not too long, not too short. There's the handle with the Elf logo on there. The brush itself is very, very lightweight um, but, you know, we'll see how we go. And I think I checked this out and I think this is worth five pounds as well. So that was item number three. Item number four is by the company Natritint and it's a natural hairspray. There we go. This is a 30 ml little bottle uh, and I'm just reading what it's got in it. It's got baobab extract, lemon fruit water and sunflower seed extract repair protect and seal split ends there we go and that's what that one looked like so i thought well that again was an interesting product new new product never heard of anything like this before so i thought why not give it a go and there we go item number four so we should have two more in here or have we got one more hang on oh no we've got two more we've got two more so, the Hall of Fame item for September was this. It's the NARS eyeliner. Okay, I'm very, very excited to try this. I'm trying to pick up bits of NARS makeup and things when I can because it is an expensive brand. Here we go. This is a little mini travel size eyeliner and it's just in black. Ooh, I can get the lid off. There we go. That lid's well on. There we go, that's what the top looks like. And let's just, oh yeah, that's really soft. Wow, and my God, is that black. Oh, yes, I'm very impressed with that already. Very soft, that's gonna be lovely for creating really nice winged, smoked out, under eyes. Yeah, can't wait to play with that. And the last item that I chose in box number two is by the company Zeo. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is, again, an eyeliner. Now, there were two shades that you could have got. You could have picked this one, which is the plum, or there was a dark green. Um, now, I think, was it last month? Was it September or was it October? I actually picked up a, a, a dark green uh, Lord and Berry eyeliner. So I thought, well, I, don't, I really don't need any more dark green ones. So I went for the plummy one. And it is uh, a normal, it's a, a normal old pencil style. It's not a gel pencil style like the NARS one. But there we go. Oh, that is beautiful. Proper plummy mulberry colour. Oh, yeah really very very nice I like that and actually feels very very soft it doesn't feel hard or scratchy or anything which can sometimes be a problem I find with pencil eyeliners so that's all six items so we've got the plum eyeliner we've got the black NARS eyeliner we've got the eyeshadow brush we've got the hairspray we've got the heat protection spray whoops which I think that is a full-size product by the way and we've got the cognac sponge I'm quite chuffed with that box <laughs> and I'm not quite sure what I would say is my favorite item um, I really love all of them and that's the great thing and that's why I like the latest in beauty boxes because you can pick the items that you wish to receive spoiler alert I might be getting two boxes in October's edit as well because there are quite a number of products this month 
flight last month that I am very interested in receiving and trying. So keep your eye out because October might just have two parts to its uh, latest in beauty boxes as well. So everybody, what's your favourite item that I've chosen to receive out of this box? What do you think to Latest in Beauty? Is it a box that you get yourself? If it isn't and you think, it, you know, I might just give this a go, please do head into the description box, click where it says show more. That'll bring all the website details up and I believe I might even have a refer a friend code for Latest in Beauty. If I have, it'll be down there. So please do go and check that out. Like I say, let me know what your favourite product is, all your thoughts and feedback. Um, thoughts and feelings and feedback in the comment section below. Thank you for watching as always everybody. If you are new to my channel, the warmest of welcomes. I hope you consider joining me on this YouTube journey. To do that, you need to click the subscribe button, either the red one down below or the circular icon with my face in it, which will appear here shortly. I don't just do subscription box unboxings, I do makeup looks, I do haul videos. I have a live stream on a Friday evening called the Friday Night Natter, 8 p.m. GMT. Please do bob in, say hello in the live chat. We, we, we might sound a bit scary, but we're not really. Our bark is worse than our bite. Uh, and so I think that's everything for today, everybody. Keep safe and well, enjoy the rest of your day, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!